ridiculous like these these poor things literally they literally themselves to death like that's ridiculous uh, anyway let's get out of here is it just me that these it's always the piece of shit beater cars like the nissan Sentras and things like that the cars that can't possibly go fast without maximum effort always trying to speed like isn't that like uh, a little counterintuitive i don't know I mean, like, the car isn't even that special, but it sure does look it, man. Ooh, ooh, my barber asked me, was it the same on the other side? Told him no. Told him no. Told him no. Brother's like on that dinosaur status right now, man. I can hear it. Roaring, man, like a lamb before time. Yeah. Hear him? <laughs> He's very not close. I promise you. <laughs> He's not close by at all. You know what, boys? If I didn't know any better, I'd say these goddamn letters went up. I have the video from last time I bought them, but I, funny enough, I never even put them in the video. They just have the clips just randomly laying around. See, guys, I'm dedicated to this stuff. I want to do this for a living. I'm telling you, I really do. But who wants to do this for a living? Who wants to buy, like, letters for a living, man? Well, I do it, but I freeze up when I see people taking pictures of my car. That dude, I actually know him from high school. Shout out to Nick. It was just, like, literally parked over here, all crooked to get both sides of the car. And, you know, didn't actually think that anyone was in it. It was on and everything. And I just didn't get out. I got locked up. It's like... What am I? What am I, this is why I need to get lowered. Look at him all nice and low. Look at him in the mirror. Doesn't even know there's a modded car behind him. But yeah, I want to be low like that because I feel like I'm not low enough. I feel like I'm really, really high up. It says something in there. It looks like a. a whoa, it looks really bad when I did that. I don't know. It looks like something really bad, like a custom text or something, but it's lowered and that's what really matters. And it's a GT. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> and I missed that one little shift because right there. And I'm not gonna lie, it's so hard to even shift and record because like you gotta press this button or you gotta actually shift and it's just like you wanna give top notch content but you can't cut top notch top notch top notch content which you really can't yet until we get the equipment which is what we're gonna get because guys on the right to the top, if we're saying we're gonna do it, man, you know what? We can't just be on a cell phone the whole time, okay, guys? We can't be on street speed status. We can't just be on GoPros. But the funny thing is, I don't even have a GoPro. So let's get popping. All right, let's mount it to the side of the car. More roll races, more popping. I'm getting inside and I'm fixing this anyway. I really hope there's no one outside in that part. Oh my God, someone's backing up. I park really bad. Like, I don't know what it is, but now I just cannot park for shit like i just keep parking on the line or just like right in the middle of it and like i have no idea why i keep doing it now something wrong with me a lot of this stuff is extremely confusing it's like we don't want just black we want gloss black and we don't want it to be peelable either we want this to be permanent because the letters are disposable whether we like them or not we can take them off put them back on there put new ones there whatever the case may be but it's gotta be gloss black i gotta get out of here i'm tired they're just weathered. They're just like beat down, like just from being on there so long. They've been on there for like two years. So like, I'm not surprised. Well, not two years, but a year and a half. And it's just, it's crazy. But um, <laughs> like there's a foam backing inside of these things and they go in it. Yeah, literally in and on the back of it. So I don't think any of the stuff needs to really come off. And it's going to kind of help me too because the placement, a lot of people are going to try to do this and are not going to like it because they didn't properly place it up like I did. But we're definitely going to love the way this gloss black is going to look. And I'm going to really, really like it when I put it on here. I'm, I'm hoping I do anyway. I really hope so.
we go. We're clean. We're clean. And we're clean. We're all good to go. We got our mess here. We got our mess over here. Not really. This is not a mess. We got a mess over here. And we did it, guys. We did this all today. And I really, really have to pee. Like, I just keep having to pee. My diet is really bad or something. But, uh, yeah, they used to be silver. Now they're black. And that's how I feel about it. I'll tell you guys later. Back on here. It's black. We had this, all right, low-key, there's super glue around this. So we didn't we didn't actually clean like we were supposed to. Um, did I care about super glue? No, I didn't think that'd be like a long lasting thing. I thought that, you know, kind of get washed off with car washes and stuff. I'm sure, but the super glue in the back of that because the styrofoam from the back and ripped. But this was a very boring process. And when you do it, do not touch these while you paint them. I did a couple times and I had to repaint them over and over again. If you touch them while they're curing, your fingerprint will be permanently, I think, stuck here. I'm not sure. Let me see. Yeah, permanently kind of stuck in it. So unless you want to be identified per, like literally with your car, you might want to wait like an extra hour or so before touching them in a nicely warm and lit area. And yeah, that is dope. This mailman is cold as hell. Like this mailman looks clean. Like I want him to deliver my mail. He's got a beard. He's got like this, this little man bun thing on the top. He just looks clean. He just looks cold.